this video, we're doing some two-tone powder coating on these race wheels for our buddy Devin. We're going to be powder coating this basketball hoop orange, just like normal basketball hoops. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So we've already got the wheels outgassed and blasted. We do have a little cleanup on them to do because there's some dents and stuff. We're going to go ahead and do that real quick. That way these wheels are ready to get their first coat of powder, which is going to be chartreuse sherbet. Let's go ahead and get to that real quick. So these wheels have a few little bins in them. We're going to go ahead and throw some heat on them and knock them out and get them straight and get them looking a bit better. These wheels are going on a dirt track race car, so they don't have to be absolutely perfect, but it is going to be displayed in malls and going through local parades and stuff like that. So we do want it looking its best. All these wheels are not the same size and they are not the same type of wheels, but these are gonna be some spare wheels. The customer does have some other wheels that are very similar that are gonna be coming in soon. So these have some gouges in them. It looks like they've been ran against a couple of curbs or whatnot. So we're just gonna go ahead and again, clean these up as best as possible so they look good when they're powder coated. So right now, Jeremy is cleaning out our scat blast vacuum system to get the dust out of the cabinet because he has that basketball hoop that he has to blast. So he's gonna go ahead and get this cleaned out. I'm finishing up these wheels and getting ready to get the first coat on them. With these wheels, we are going to lay down the chartreuse sherbet with the Eastwood dual voltage, just because there's not a lot of green that needs to be laid down on it. And then we're gonna do the rest of the colors, the illusion purple and the clear with the KFX one. Jeremy is also going to go ahead and do the basketball hoop in the orange, and he's going to do that with the Eastwood dual voltage. So we're gonna jump to that after Jeremy gets this clean. So we are just coating the ring around the edge and then on these wheels it's going to be around each of the windows as well. So we're just making sure that we're gonna get that thin edge covered. Same with this one here, we're just going around the edge. While the wheels are in the oven, going through a 60% cure so there's no bleed through on the Illusion Purple, Jeremy is powder coating this basketball rim. That way it can go into the oven once the wheels are out. Now that the wheels have been partially cured and have cooled off, we're applying the Illusion Purple and we're going to wipe it off where we want the Chartreuse Sherbert to show through. We've got these wheels all wiped. We're gonna go ahead and add some custom purple flake from Columbia Coatings to this clear vision and give these wheels some real pizzazz and a bit of a custom look. Now it's time to apply the clear vision and then we will go for a full cure at 375 degrees for 15 minutes and that's part temp. For those of you wondering, yes we did shoot the part a little warm because in times like these it does save time. I hit record. 
for the job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face.